Hello everyone, how you doing? And welcome back to another video, you lovely, lovely bunch of people. I hope you guys are having an absolutely splendid day. And you know what, people? It is drama season. On one side of the ring, we've got James Charles, known for his cracking smile, his lovely air, his questionable Minecraft skills, and also, also this. Ew, that outfit is so ugly. That outfit is ugly the house. You know, James, I don't want to come off as rude right now, but still, to this day, that doesn't actually make sense in connotations to the English language. So, uh, could, could we have a little bit of an explanation, please? Well, this makeup look actually turned out pretty good. This makeup look is good the house. James, I still don't know what that means. I'm not a beauty guru. You don't see me sat on my kitchen floor. I'm not Trisha Paytas. I don't do that. I don't do that. So please just, please just explain to me what this means. It's called the house. Is this video the house? Is this new Shane Dawson documentary the house? I, I don't know. Just explain. The house is the new best way to put emphasis on anything. I mean, fair play, James. I'm not going to question your motives here, even though it doesn't actually make any sense in context in English language. Use the phrase on this channel from now on. So maybe if uh, Tati Westbrook's accusations were the house, maybe if it was by sister the house, maybe the accusations would have worked. Clearly, clearly they're not working. I want to say huge congratulations to James Charles. And obviously on the other side of the ring, we've got Jeffree Star, a man known for a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff indeed. <laughs> And if I'm being fully honest with you guys, I'm terrified of this man. I am absolutely terrified that at 3 a.m. tonight, after I upload this video, I'm gonna get a visit from him and he's gonna be threatening to use the Cruciatus curse on me. Because in the least mean way possible, in some occasions, he has looked like Lord Voldemort if he snorted one too many Horcruxes. And Jeffree Star fans, you, you literally can't get mad at that. He's done a video pretending to be Voldemort. I mean, come on, you can't get mad at me for this. Please, please just like the video. I can't get over it, wow. This makeup look is good the hell. And now at the time of uploading this, probably 10pm on the 1st of October 2019, I'm not necessarily good with times, Shane Dawson has most likely released his new documentary about this bloke. Oh, shit, no, sorry, wrong YouTuber, wrong YouTuber. M maybe one day Shane will do a documentary on him. Shane, do a documentary on Fred, please. I'd really appreciate it. And it does honestly seem that Shane Dawson is becoming the new Dr. Phil of YouTube. Oh. And honestly, at this point, I would not be surprised if the first part of this documentary was Shane saying, Jeffrey James, I'm just fed up. I am completely and utterly fed up with dealing with your bollocks and saving your careers in my documentaries. So now, just get in the ring, get on the KSI undercard, just go makeup palette to makeup palette and have a big old scrap. Because I think that's the only way they're going to sort it. <laughs> Now on a serious note guys, this video is going to be a little bit different to my usual stuff because in previous videos, you know, all I'm really doing is bullying British men who pay to get surgery to location. But in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the most cursed community in all of human history. Not just YouTube history, no. No, no, no. I, I feel like Trisha Paytas sat on the floor crying has transcended any form of bad community. Actually, no. There is a lot of bad communities in the past. I have not just said... Trisha Paytas is worse than North Korea. I haven't said that, but, but just forget that. Today we're going to be looking at the beauty community and how Shane Dawson's documentary could most possibly end James Charles' career, or it could in general expose the entire community. And to be fair, I don't really think Laura Lee has much to worry about. <laughs> What I want this whole video to be is a big old speculative prediction thing where I use my mind to get into the beauty community and just understand everything and try and give my opinion on what I think is actually going to happen after the entire thing. And I honestly believe that, you know, the whole beauty community could be exposed. And I think that starts with the first main question of what is actually going to happen with big Jimbo Minecraft player Charles after this documentary. Burn the sash and smash the tiara No, that's not me, I'll never be from Queen No <laughs> Oh my god, I just have to say I miss you James Charles It's so dramatic, I miss you, rest in peace It was a sad day when you passed away in May 2019 Wait, he, oh he didn't pass away, oh Oh, sorry. But yeah, after this trailer was released, a lot of people were basically come out and saying, Is Shane Dawson gonna ruin James Charles' career? Is it over for him? Is it over for Jeffree Star? Who's gonna lose? Who's gonna die in this situation? Who's gonna lose their career? Because this stuff is like cocaine for drama channels. It's like, do some, some exposed videos. Some, oh, some of that, some of that. Mm, mm. And I can't lie. 
I probably am one of these people. I mean, I'm not criticizing anyone. Genuinely, I love tea channels. I watch pretty much most of the tea channels on YouTube. So I can't sit back here and criticize people for, you know, making videos and drama. I'm doing it right now. That'd be extremely hypocritical. I'm just saying this stuff to a lot of YouTubers is like highly addicting cocaine. <laughs> and I think Jeffree Star would know all about them. No, no, I didn't say that. No, I don't mean that. It's just, you know, a lot of these LA YouTubers, they like the big old sniff and there's nothing wrong in a bit of coke. A cola? No, 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 stay away from coke. What are you talking about? Get off this channel if you do that. Okay, okay, but actually being serious because I am waffling right now, I fully believe that Shane Dawson is one of the smartest men on YouTube. I believe that he knows exactly what he's doing. With this whole documentary, I feel like he's got a whole game plan. And there are a lot of questions that need to be answered, specifically about the situation in May. Because there were so many unanswered questions there. And I believe even though the first episode has been aired at this point, there will still be a lot of questions such as what does this tweet mean why was nathan banned by james did james steal nathan's minecraft diamonds did he touch somebody inappropriately personally i feel like the first one is probably the worst no 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 i didn't say that he did none of them he's just a makeup group no god why no fraser stop stop i need i really hope people can distinguish jokes and reality. <laughs> because the actual reality is probably this tweet was a complete lie and James was actually never banned from the house. <coughs> but on a real note, given the amount of people that Shane Dawson is currently speaking to, especially in the beauty community, even including the Dolan twins, which recently came out yesterday, I, I feel like this whole thing is going to expose the beauty community for quite a lot. Whether it's bad or good, I feel like Jeffree Star and Shane will most likely spill some actual tea, some actual stuff, and explain some big old, big old full of blubbers. That's the new word today for drama. That's the new word for Big bad things going on in a <laughs> YouTube. I can't even remember what I just said. But yeah, I feel like there's some questions that need answering and they're going to be answered. The honest to God main reason I wanted to make this video is because I've not been able to put into words for how I personally feel about the beauty community without having a specific topic to go around. Because if I uploaded a video saying my opinion on the beauty community, I don't think many people would watch it. So I'm going to say my opinion on the beauty community is it's one of the most sick and messed up places on YouTube. And that's coming from a commentary channel. I know that I'm a, a, a drama getting guy. I love a bit of drama and I'm snorting it all out there. But you know, at least I'm not backstabbing all of my friends. At least I'm not snaking people for, I, I don't know, minerals or tablets or just getting a sponsorship. That's what this whole community seems to be for me. And I really don't like it. So I'm genuinely hoping that some form of expose comes in this documentary. It may not be in the first part, it may not be in the second part, but I feel like something will happen and that will explain why Shane Dawson said on his Instagram that he's nervous to upload this. I'm just feeling a lot of things today. I'm very excited, I'm very nervous, I'm very, very, oh jeez. Ugh, I can't even talk. I'm very anxious. I'm very everything. Um... And honestly, I can genuinely understand that. He may just be nervous because he hasn't uploaded in a quite a while, but I feel like there's something deeper to this because it's Jeffree Star. This man is well known for using the Cruciatus cast on other beauty YouTubers, so clearly there's going to be something there. There's going to be something. Will it be Tati Westbrook? Is secretly Dobby? Is Lucius Malfoy actually Jeffree Star? And is Dobby... I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's crazy. There's so much that needs to be unraveled. And I said at the starting, this was just going to be me bambling or bumbling, whatever you want to call it. And that's exactly that. My honest opinion, though, when it comes to James Charles is I know Shane Dawson is smart and I know that he will want the YouTube community to be supporting every single aspect because even if one group of people are hating on Shane Dawson, he will not want that. So I'm 100% sure that Jeffrey and James will probably both come out of this pretty fine. And ultimately, what I believe this series is going to eventually lead to is actually Shane Dawson releasing a makeup brand. And if he does that, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I will review it. I will get somebody to put that makeup on me. So if you want that, <laughs> like the video. Because, you know, I I'm Shane Dawson's mate. And I need to buy his products. <laughs> I need to stop. This video is a complete mess. This is so different to usual. I'm so confused. But yes, yeah, Shane Dawson could attempt to expose James Charles to something. I personally don't think anything's going to affect James in this situation. Same for Shane Dawson. I just think this whole thing's going to be regular and Shane's going to basically get all the drama pushed aside at the starting and then move ahead with all the beauty stuff. I, I think that's what he wants. I feel like he knows that everyone has questions that need answers and that's probably going to be coming in the first episode or even the second episode and third 
episode and then, you know, they'll go on to actually making the money, making the dough, because that's what, that's what we all want. I never got shot by your latest merchandise. That's all we want, just a bit of money. Nothing wrong in that. Now to conclude this speculative, hypothesizing, weird video that I've never really made before, I feel like this whole thing will be decided if Trisha Paytas cries on the floor. If Trisha gets on the floor and cries about this whole thing, you know some real stuff's gone down. But, you know, if she's gone back to the mukbangs, then I feel like James Charles and Jeffree Star's career is safe. That's pretty much my take on this whole thing. I'm Shane Lawson's mate, and that's the end of the video. <laughs> but thank you for watching this video. If you want me to do more videos where I basically just chat to you guys, let me know in the comment section. Usually I'm just doing more comedy stuff where I'm like, haha, that guy is playing to look Asian, what a big moron. That's basically what I do here. Welcome if you're new, love you very much. Please like the video, but I would really much appreciate it. 20,000 likes and I'll do the makeup video for some weird reason, I will do that. And also please don't forget to follow my social medias at iNabber69 on Twitter and iNabber on Instagram and iNabber.shop for your latest merchandise, which you can get at a reasonable price. And also, please do me a favor right now, when this video ends, I want you to go and click on this end card and watch and like my latest video. I would really appreciate it if you went and did that, that would help me out so much. But that is the end of the video. Thank you so much for coming along and I hope you have a lovely and wonderful day and I really hope you enjoyed the first part of the Shane's new series. Peace out people, take it easy, click on the same card right now and I'll see you in the next one.